look, this isn't the same vlog clip as yesterday. We haven't just like put the same clip in from yesterday's vlog. We're actually back at Morrison's, picking up some more food. Bad food, good food. I don't quite know yet, but we're picking up some food on our way into Morrison's. Are you gonna get bad food or good food? Good food. That's a lie. You're lying to them. So we're back home and I've spent, remember I told you guys yesterday that I spent all day trying to sort my stream out? Well, I sorted it out in some ways, but in other ways I didn't sort it out. I didn't fix it. I was dropping frames, people were saying it was lagging, and I think a lot of the viewers I'm losing, I'm losing because when I start playing games, the stream looks a bit bad and I'm dropping frames and it's not looking smooth at all. So people are like, fuck this shit, this looks terrible, I'm out. But I know Aman, I watch Aman stream, and he actually records and streams at the same time. Now I record and stream at the same time and drop frames, so I was thinking, how the hell does Aman do it? So I asked him and he gave me some help and gave me some tips and said some reasons why he was probably dropping frames and stuff. And um, honestly, didn't really it didn't really help because he had a different setup to me. So I went on the OBS forums and said I'm looking to do a stream. Uh, I'm looking to record and stream off two separate cards. So one recording and one I'm using for the stream. And the guy got back to me and was like, yeah, you can do it. You just basically plug both the capture cards together. <laughs> I know it's, it's, it's not that obvious and that's obviously not how it works, but he basically said plug them both in together to make it easier for you guys. So as you can see down here, which you probably won't be able to see too well, when I move these, I've got my Ava Media card, which is what I stream with. And then as you can see here, I've got Ethan's Elgato, which he used to use. So they're both plugged in together. I'm not even gonna talk about how I did it, but I did it. And when I go onto my PC, I can have OBS. When I press preview, OBS will have my Ava Media footage there coming off my Ava Media card. Hey, there's a little face cam there. Face cam, face cam. And uh, here, when I open the Elgato, that'll give me my Elgato footage. So, Ava Media footage here, Elgato footage here, so I can record and stream at the same time so I'm going to do a little test stream for an hour now kind of see how it comes out see if it works see what the load is like on my PC uh, this is probably going to be a good little test on my PC because the Elgato is known for just like hogging CPU power so uh, yeah I didn't build this PC for nothing it's a bit of a beast so PC I'm going to put you uh, to the test now and, and see if you can deal with this okay let's see if we can uh, see if we can get through this so we just had a little test stream, uh, I had a little couple of viewers in, I wanted everyone to kind of tell me what the stream was looking like and everyone was saying it was looking good and I checked back on the a VOD after the stream, like a video of the stream basically that was saved and uh, it all looked cool, it all looked fine which is a good little motivator for me now for, uh, for so on, for on and on and on, now when I want to stream, I can stream and record, I think maybe the next thing that I'll need to do is uh, just get some better lighting in here because I don't know if you guys know, but this window behind me is my dad's room because my room was the furthest window on the house and then we got an extension onto my bedroom so I haven't got a window in my room I've got no natural light or anything so the lighting in my room is terrible if you've watched my stream you'll know that my webcam doesn't look too crazy because of the lighting so what I need to do is purchase some good lighting so that the webcam looks a bit more cleaner but I'm happy with it, I'm happy and I think I'm getting to the final stages of my stream now and being able to just go on and stream instead of having to piss about with settings and stuff but I think that's kind of what you have to do I did this with the vlogs I want to get the vlogs perfect I found codecs and qualities and cameras and then I settled for something that I was happy with with the gaming channel I had to go through capture cards editing programs codecs for editing and then I was happy with that and now I guess it's the streaming and finding the best settings, the best capture cards, the best webcams, the best green screen. And I'm almost happy with that. But uh, yeah, I think it was a bit of a successful night. So guys, after another day of sorting and chopping and changing and testing and trying. and 
and relaxing. I know I said that word a lot over the last couple of days, but after a good couple of days of just regenerating, I'm back in work tomorrow. <laughs> I'm back in work and I'm actually excited. I feel ready to fight the world again. I've got another driving lesson on Friday, back in work tomorrow. Um, everything's looking up, I guess. Even though things were looking down already, but things are looking up because FIFA 15 is out now. I'm starting to post videos again. Hopefully, I can stream daily from now on, depending on how the setup holds up. Yeah, everything's looking good, and uh, I guess now that everything's been more comfortable on the other side, we can maybe start putting a bit more effort into the vlogging side and giving you guys better content on this channel. But I'm tired, guys, and I've got to get ready for school. School? <laughs> <laughs> have I got to get ready for school or have I got to get ready for work? I think I, yeah, I think I've got to get ready for work. I'm going to get ready for work tomorrow, guys. So, uh, yeah. If you enjoyed the video, maybe thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe button. Must be. Tell you guys later. Peace.